University of Krishna. And I was just remembering his Hari Kata. I woke up most of his Hari Kata went right over my head. But that was one of his glories too, was that he had Hari Kata for everyone, from the highest to the lowest. <coughs> like the, the, the lowest, like just don't, don't, don't drink poison, you know, don't drink sense of And for those who were qualified, he, he gave the highest, the highest um, moods of um, brain. So we're very calm. Yeah, he gave us everything. I was also, I was also thinking about um, the Shri Maharaj um, mentioned about Gurudev Gita. He was awarded uh, Yuga Acharya by the um, Vajrasi Vaishnavas, and, and Gurudev he said, "Oh, yes, I'm the Kali Yuga Acharya." Like he was like joking in humility, saying, oh, "I'm the Kali Yuga Acharya." But, I was thinking, well, actually, he, he was, he, he is the Kali Yuga Chai, he's the, he's, the, he's the panacea for all the, all the problems of Kali Yuga. But for those who are, who are misguided, he gave guidance. He, he sort of said, don't, don't quarrel, don't be lazy, don't be disturbed. Um, this human form of life is very short, don't waste it. And Simply the age of, age of Kali is everyone is very unlucky. And just by seeing uh, Gurudev, we become, we become lucky. By seeing, we become, we become fortunate. By hearing his, um, hearing his hurry guitar. I didn't have much, um, I haven't got many sort of actual uh, personal sort of pastimes with Gurudev. I always quickly say a couple of things. So when, when I first met him, I, I came to um, Tura. And I came to this um, chance to change the colour left, left that trip to there by the mercy. And went in to see Guru Day first night at Darshan and I was introduced and I, I told him my, my um, sorry story about how I had a had a boat I could um, I just sort of become um, become lazy in my practices and and uh, yeah, not so not so attentive. And then he said, I'll I'll, I'll help you and he put his hand up to the and then he turned to the Torah and asked for and said, Even if you bring your, your gold to me, I will accept him. So it was. Yeah. So I was just thinking, so I should have walked up and brought you also, used to call this false and 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 he goes and this was um, years later, and Guru Guru they had been uh, talking a lot, a lot about Vishnu and Guru Seva, and to me that was a sort of, sort of a new concept. That, well, it's in the dark and someone someone asked, just as everyone was about to leave, and someone quickly went to Guru and said, "Oh, Guru, you know, how do I attain Vishnu and Guru Seva?" And there was there was uh, three or four of us who were more leaning forward and listening to what he said, and then. Afterwards, um, we were discussing discussing what was and what he said to answer that question, and there was at least three different answers. We all we all heard something different. Like one one, I can't remember one, but one one did he heard? Oh, you should practice in this way. And, and for me, I, just, I, I heard one person say, "You should desire this in your heart." And someone else had another other answer. And I was just thinking, it was, it was, it was a bit a bit, a bit like um, through that. Mystic, mystic potency, like right? he's not even for the super soul and he's giving everyone their individual answer as to what, what level they were on. And so for me, it was like I didn't even really desire it. I was just sort of, you know, so he said, so he desire it. And someone else was told, they should practice that way. Things like that. So, um, yeah, it was, you know, it was, um, and to have some, some opportunity to serve him in some little way. And I just like to, um, like to ask Sri Guru Day for a benediction that, that, uh, that he can remove the troubles from him my heart and, um, and uh, establish uh, loving devotional service on my heart as an irrevocable fact. Go on, Sri Guru Day. Jai 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 one particular Tingram was I married, Bamboo was I married, and our married. They are given a jump, they are three pillars, you know. 
in pillai so get to example bhakti vedas silvamani do sign ma he is like this brahma brahma what he do he do the creation you know so that time on bhakti vedas bamun do sign mara he gave everybody diksha nanda in this creation he child to god and he gave three grow do sign mara who is he is like the shiva you know what he do in the test right so mostly three grow do sign mara you know always he tell him about samandha gya you know always always and always he try to cut this all maya you know all kind of this material desire this harita is very strong and very strong you know? always he try to cut this maya bad philosophy maya and always he cut the another bad philosophy and always he tell always he want to tell what the oh in life and in life you get this material world you know life and life only one life you try to your whole energy get to krishna you know and this material life always in the mm, uh, always for you always you know but one life you try to to krishna seva guru vaishnava seva you know always you get so much energy of sub to devote so get to him like this shiva and our gurudev they are kept example is a narayan you know he is a maintainer you know he is a nourishing maintainer so he is named narayan always you know always when always he when come new you know brahmachari came gurudev always you know he bring to mathura temple always he bring to mathura temple he try to teach to this all siddhanta all tattva all philosophy always you they try to teach to their all philosophy all siddhanta yes try to learn me hari katha you know how to bhaja how you are doing chanting holy name how you are full faith always you know nursing to devotees always you get to help them so they are uh, three pillars you know their brahma is the brahma one is the vishnu and is the mahesh you know and sometimes they are give example they are uh, three mahara <coughs> He gave the example of one Maharaj. Always he try to tell him this is the Samandha Gyan. Okay? Always Samandha Gyan. Will he hope this is the Tim Ram Goswami Maharaj? Mostly this Hari Katha is the same. He always, you know, always he try to tell him to give a Swarupa to Krishna and Nitya Das. You are eternal servant of Lord Krishna. You know, so necessary time came to put all energy to. कृष्ण सेवा ये कृष्ण सेवा लो इटल इति इटल के संबंध क्या एंड अभी है मेरी प्रोसेस भक्ति वेदांत श्री बाहुन गोस्वामी महाराज ही मोस्टली दिस हरि कथा यू नो मोस्टली दिस हरि कथा ही इज द हाउ यू नो दिस द अविधेय अविधेय में भक्ति हाउ कैन अटेंड टू योर गॉड एंड मोस्टली अलवेज इन टेली यू ट्राई अलवेज एंड थी this hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram ram ram, ram hari you know it would be for our you know always we chanting this hari na always you know never he doing to criticize to anybody you know never if somebody coming telling to somebody that you know complain to somebody to bhagavan go sign mara they tell him bolo hari krishna you know always tell him बोलो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 यू नो ही नेवर डिसनी टू एनीवन क्रिटिसाइज एंड ही नेवर टेल टू एनी टाइम नेवर डू एनी क्रिटिसाइज टू एनीवन एल्स यू नो नेवर टू क्रिटिसाइज नेवर लिसनी एंड नेवर टेलिंग अलवेज चली टू ट्राई चांटी वन ओपन टाइम समबडी केम टू बाम गो सम महाराज बोलो गुरुदेव गिव सम Mm, he said some to me then bound to sign my tell it you try learning vp then he don't understand you know our india uh, they are we try to to sadhu bol bhai they are so much suffering this material life so they are kept to sadhu you know they are get blessed to him this family life stay very nice you know this maintaining their life this clear stuff if a household or life go very nice all in our india there's cut and mentality when come sadhu they are always doing bhajan and when they are get to bless to us we are always doing very happiness life you know 
But when it came to Gauranga Sai Maharaj, then he learned, he told, he tried to learn Vipi. But he did not understand, you know. But he learned Vipi, always you are householder, you feel Vipi, you know. Like, always the suffering, suffering. And again, Maharaj telling, you know, I told, blessed to me, he telling, you try to Vipi, always you are material, like to Vipi, you feel. Again, he telling, you are Vipi. You know, whole night he thinking, why tell you that he loved the Vipi? Again, he came to many times. Hello, Maharaj Gurudev, I came to you, got some happiness life, your material life, your life suffering. But you try, you told to, you try to weeping, learn me weeping. Alleluia, you are weeping, what you tell? Then Bhavan Goswami Maharaj said, when children never weeping, then mother is never fed to breast milk, you know. When the children weeping, then mother is fed to the milk, you know. Like this way, you are not weeping, you know. Without weeping, Krishna's heart never made him melt. So, Bhavan Goswami Maharaj tell, when you chanting this holy name, you are weeping, weeping, chanting this holy name. So, Mahaprabhu tell you, Nayanam Galadastra Dharaya, Badanam Gadgad Rudhaya Giriya, Ullaka Vichitam Bhakku Kada Tava Naam Grahan Bhavis. Oh Lord, when you can this such a day, when you wish a day, but when I am chanting your name, my eyes can be clear. And throat became, my throat? Sure, uh -huh. sure, sure. Yes, yes. So, when comes that time, when comes that time, Mahaprabhu tell him, you know, so when you are not weeping, so Bhaktivinoda Thakur, you know, Bhaktivinoda Thakur telling this Hari Nam Chintamani, you know, this, he writing this scripture, this name is the Hari Nam Chintamani, this is the Chintamani, Chintamani meaning, that this holy name is the Chintamani, Chintamani meaning, what you can want, you know. If you what you want from this holy name, this holy name he can fulfill your whole desire. You know, he can fulfill your whole desire. So Bhakti Murat Thakur telling how you can chant in this holy name. Like this holy name. We are taking three kinds of Vaishnavas. One is the Kanishta, one is the Madhya, one is the Uttar. Well, who is the Kanishta Vaishnav? Who is the sometimes, sometimes with the chanting this holy name? And who is the Madhya Vaishnav? Is always chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 हाथ में टांग और मुंह में नाम मतलब यार हाथ दिन सर्विस और माउथ वे आर चैंटिंग दिस होली नेम अलवेज चैंटिंग दिस होली नेम ये सो टेली नेस्टरी वे जो चैंटिंग दिस होली नेम पक्तु में ना कोई टेलिंग दिस हरिनाम चिंता में नेस्टरी यू नो समटाइम व्हाट हैपनी यू आर गट हरिनाम फ्रॉम टू बुद्धे � Telling you have not any coming any taste to this holy name. I have not any realization in this holy name. So why happening this thing? Why happening? That meaning there is some fault in the holy name. Well, no fault us. You know how you are chant this holy name. You are you know as life you are don't chant this holy name. How can chant? So this Harinam Chintamani scripture Bhakti Vinod Thakur telling necessary. You can see one place. You know, sit the one place, and they, you know, chant and try to chanting this holy name. Where Guru Gosar Das was, you know, Maharaj, when he chanting this holy name, sometimes stay in the toilet, inside the toilet, close this door, and sometimes chanting very loudly, you know, chanting is a loudly throat is the become become cut away, throat is become maybe coming to blood, you know, 
sometimes chatting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare ram hare ram 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 bol hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare ram hare ram 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 hare sometimes chanting very loudly no sometimes and sometimes literally if your mind comes some more restless that you are writing this hare krishna mahamantra one place you know place you writing and when you chanting reading this mahamantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare you look at this letter after chanting will why will abhinatvat naam nami krishna and his name they are not different you know so there are mira bring one bhajan hari se bada hari ka naam prabhu se bada prabhu ka naam ant mein nikla yah parinam hari se bada hari ka naam prabhu se bada prabhu ka naam and that meaning is the lord's name is the more than superior to lord you know this lord is the name is the superior more than lord name is the superior more than lord so la his name is the na superior to lord why krishna when coming ram when coming he is not liberated to so many person only drink this special season and to switch past time then he left but who is the liberated this jiva this name you know still this name who is the take shelter this name you know he can go back to god head this name is the naam get to bhakti to everybody liberation to everybody so bhaktivinoda thakur told hari naam chintamani if he want some realization then he can seek one place my you know sit down one place you know and that time if my, your mind is more restless then you tell him you can you know chaitanya mahaprabhu ji chaitanya bhagavata tell him you can this tulasi tree you can keep the front of him you know i saw gurudev when he chanting and doing guru mantra you know guru mantra is a guru there if this tulasi tree he keep the front okay you no know, it keep the front if at last this thing your mind never fixed to hari name mind become restless when not coming interest chanting this holy name then you can keep you can sit down in front of tulasi you know you sit down in front of tulasi tulasi who is tulasi brindal tulasi the pai priya hai kaise vas acha krishna bhakti prade devi satyavatai nam nam the tulasi tree the himself you know krishna bhakti he see that krishna bhakti to you so keep tulasi tree front of you and sit down i say gurudev when chanting this guru mantra gayatri he also front of tulasi gurudev chanting this holy name yeah? and sometimes gurudev keep tulasi tree front side and sitting there and take this big bath and chanting hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari na we can sometimes chant it that the tulasi tree then come so much you know realization can be so much happiness come your heart why tulasi himself you know see the krishna bhakti and the way krishna he left this world hari hari keep this old home tree of tulasi yeah tree of tulasi so vishwanath would have to tell him in hoy ji house koi very nice in tulasi this is bhakti also very good bhakti you know and in this manjari can so fragrant mini your bhakti also good bhakti go you know your bhakti also very increase your bhakti devotional life also very increase if this is flower can so fragrant so so bhakti mana thakur tell him if you have some realization sit down one place very nice you know nicely and we we pin we pin you know we pin we pin and you chant in this hari krishna mahamantra must must come in some realization you know sometimes what happen after some days take hari naam but you are not chanting you know you don't chant in this holy name sometimes you stop chanting you tell you are not realizing that that meaning is that you are proper we don't chant this holy name proper we don't chant this holy name when chanting this holy name only if you are got a peaceful life 
only in radio chant is holy name. In words and go to back to God and through all this holy name, yeah, only through this holy name. So, Gurudev, you know, I saw, you know, I, many times I did service of Gurudev. Many times I was saw, you know, Gurudev when chanting this holy name, you know, very, like, you know, this very, from this heart, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. I saw his eyes come clear and he chanting this holy name, you know, he chanting this holy name. So now he got famous of all world. Why? He chanting very nicely this holy name. So if you are, you are also chanting this holy name nicely, one day you are also become very famous, you know. This Bos Boswami Tulsi Das, this Ram Chaitanya Manas, you know, Boswami Tulsi Das. He gave the example why, you know, Hanima, you name, listen to the name of Hanima, you know, our area, how much worship to Ram, more than the places you saw do, they are worship to Hanima. Our India, you know. How much they are worshipped to Ram, more than, you know, everywhere they go to do Hanima, no one. Everywhere, maybe somebody cannot find out some Ram's picture, but you must find out the Hanuman's picture also. Why is very powerful? When you take this name, all kind of problem with the mood, Riti, Siddhi, all kind of uplifts coming for our Buddha, one a Kirta, when you take the name of Hanuma, all kind of happiness coming, destroyed to finishing. When not staying in a booth, Pisaj, meaning this is not a ghost, who is not staying in somebody listen tell this Hanuman's name, this house, go out, this all kind of, you know, demigod, demigod is all kind of bad thing. So many power. Well, why? Goswami Tulasta actually, why? Why Hanuman is very uplands? He telling, Malaso Miri Pa Bana Sutapa Banana. So he is the very, very up, you know, prominent, very, very famous. Sumiri Pavana Sutta Pavana Namo, always chanting Lord's name. Raghupati Raghava, Raja Ram, Patita Pavana Sita. So he is the very, very famous. Tell him why our India is so many. Bhole Baba Ki Jai. Everybody is Satyam, Sivam, Sundar. No? They are everywhere. What is it? Siva, 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 Siva. Well, why? Goswami Tulsi Das Tali. Maha Mantra Jai Chapata Mahesa Kasi Mukati Eto Upadesa. So, Sankar is the very, very famous person. Maha Mantra Jai Chapata Mahesa. Always is the five mouth we chanting Maha Mantra Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 So tell me why India most people saw their worship to Devi, you know, Durga Devi. Well, why? Goswami Tulsita is telling me once Parvati Sri asked to Siva, O Prabhu, who is name I can chant? Rama Rama Ti Rama Ti Rama Rama Mano Rama Sahasra Nama Vistulya Mastri Rama Nama Bara Oh Parvati is so beautiful you know Tell him oh beautiful Parvati You know tell him so it's very look like hands up very beautiful Tell him oh beautiful beautiful Parvati You know when somebody is Vishnu Sahasra One thousand when somebody chanting no, if only one time tell the name of Ram, one Ram Nam is equal to one thousand Vishnu name, then Parvati Prabhu, necessary I can chant every day, you know, name of Ram. Ram Nam is a very sweet name. Another one day, Sankar again will come here. Hello, what? But you know how much power of the Ram of Ram, you know, more than power is the Krishna's name. He tell you what slow, but like Ram Ramati tell you the Sahasra Nam Nam Punyana Trida Bhitwa to Jat Palam Eka Bhitwa to Krishna Sya Nama Eka Tad Prachati. He tell you if somebody 3000 name of business name somebody take, he will do one time chanting 
Krishna's only Krishna's name. One Krishna name is equal to one three thousand name of Vishnu. Meaning, if somebody take one time of Krishna name, that meaning three times Ram Nam you can do. You know, then tell go for who? Then Krishna is the supreme personality God. Yes, Krishna is the supreme personality God. Then Parvati is chanting Krishna Krishna. One day Shankar again tell you, well, Parvati. No, how much power is the name of Krishna? Somebody name more than the power is the Krishna's name. Well, what name? Well, Krishna himself telling, well, Mama Nama Satanapi, Radha Nama Sadhutama, Jakaroti Sada Radha, Majrami Mahima Kita. Krishna, he told to Chandrama. Rubo Chandrama, if somebody, my name, one hundred times, somebody take the name of my name. And if one time only chanting name of Srimati Radharani, then one Radharani name is equal to my name with one hundred times. If somebody take, is the same. If you Prabhu, then I can chanting Radhe 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 Radhe. So, if everybody you are going to Vrindavan, you can look. Anybody not telling Krishna's name? What they are telling? What are they telling? Radhe Radhe Krishna easily come there, you know, Krishna. Then Parvati tell Prabhu, then I can every day I can chant the name of Radha. Well, you know, there is something, you know, there is something, uh, something there. Well, we are telling the name of Radha Rani, well, Radha Rani never come to there. Krishna come to there. Radha Radha Rattva Chala, I give the air. So they are telling Bhakti Varun Thakur telling, when you take the name of Radha Rani, Radha Rani that become happy. Well, who happy? Krishna happy. Yeah, Krishna became. But when you have to give happiness to Radha Rani, then you can say the name of Sri Krishna's name. When Krishna name listening to Radha Rani, Radha Rani happy. When Radha Rani name listen to Krishna, then Krishna became happy. Then Parvati tell him, Prabhu, then what can I do? I can confuse. I tell him, Radha Radha Rani, Krishna Krishna. Then Shankar tell him, you can chant him, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So he is telling Goswami Tulas Das, he is telling Parvati always, you know there are eight in hand, you can saw they are not a bit there. She also chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, so it is very popular, you know. More than a Shiva, even you know, <laughs> watching the Devi, you know. Very, very famous, famous place you can saw. They are Devi. Jagannath temple, they are a Devi. He want to go to, you know, Kasmiye, Jambu, they are a very big place, Devi. You know, where, where the Sati, when she left body, Sankara take this body and start to dance. When start to dance, now we can hold all, we can try, you know, test try. Then Vishnu, everybody go to Vishnu. Then Vishnu sent this chakra, you know, Sudarsana chakra. Then this chakra he cut to Satish body, you know, Sati Parvati. Cut then with 52 pieces. And where you have this body is the Pala, their place is the or India, 52 two places. Very, very, you know, very, very popular and very, very famous place. Thousands, thousands of people is going there. What should to Devi, 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 Devi. why? So Swami Tulasita has told you only what the Jeev, she is always chanting this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. So Swami Tulasita has told you why in our India, when some Brahman, when they are opening any house, doing any auspicious thing, they are fast, they are worship to Ganesh. Ganesh, they are fast worship to Ganesh. And the Goswami Tulasita has told you why? Why fast they are worship and they give so much electricity, very good opulence, they give some mystical power, very good, very good. So, Goswami Tulasita has told him, and Brahma Sahita has told him, main, who is the Siddhi, you know, get what is Siddhi, the language tell him? Perfection. Huh? Perfection. No, no, perfection. 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 Very good. Moon person is the nursing Bhagavad, you know. One is nursing Bhagavad, this two lotus feet, he gave to the head of the, you know, head of the Ganesh. 
the little bit, you know, perfection came from to Nishinga Dev to Ganesh. So he gets very popular. So one Sarpana died, you know, there Puran Pani Katha. You know, they are coming one past time, past worship to who? Who is that past worship? They tell you that 33 billion they are demigods. The demigod and demigods. Tell you who is the whole world going parikrama, you know? One parikrama and came there, past he can, you know, past worship to him, you know, when doing any kind of puja, past he can worship to him. Now, Brahma, take this swan, you know, this carrier, this swan, that past is the Raghu, then Karti, yeah, Pika is the this carrier, she oh, you know, whole world to Parikma, past he came in, that, you know, that everybody worship to me past, you know. But now, um, Ganesh, we have carrier in the mouse, you know, where he going, you know, he can go, he can go to here and there. The Narada take, Narada take, you know, what I mean, this thing. Well, he can do one thing, Hari se bada Hari can do. Lord's name is the more than powerful Lord's name. Lord's, Lord's name is the more than powerful Lord's. So, they are only one, doing Parikrama to only one Brahman in Vaj. But, this Lord's, you know, this inside of Lord's, there are million, billions, you know, in Vaj is present. You can write the name of Lord's Naam, Krishna's name, and three times do Parikrama, you know. Then you can do parikma to not all, only all inverse, but inverse, you can do parikma million, billions inverse. Then he can win, you know. Now in India, everybody was to Ganesh. So Goswami Tulsidas is telling, which name is the very famous old world, worship to why? This is the power of Lord's name. Who is the chanting this name? You know, Bhakti Siddhartha, Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, why the Supreme Even in the nine monument, very why? The one part is in every day he chanting three three lakh holy name, three three lakh holy name chanting. Bhakti will not have you know. He also, Rupa Goswami Sanatana, Goswami also, they are also doing like this bhajan. Bhakti will not have also doing like this bhajan, you know. Huiji Mala he chanting every day three three lakh. Prabhupada, same Mala use. And he also chanting one day three three lakh, you know, and twelve year, you know, twelve year, you know. If somebody maybe you are try chanting one day one lakh harina, then we saw, you know, maybe six, seven hours away. If somebody chanting three lakh, how many times they do? It don't take. It don't take. You have lost so much time in sleeping. So telling, if you are chanting three, three lakh harina, twelve years, then become the satta karo, meaning one hundred, one billion, billion then there. You know, then what I'm mean, telling, you are become bath siddhi. Bath siddhi meaning heart came from your mouth, everything became truth. Mm. Why? If one day you chanting three lakh harina, meaning complete your observed Krishna. Why? One lakh you chant, that's one lakh, the sixteen round, whole day you can get sometimes three, six, sixteen round. You know? If somebody chanting one lakh, and if somebody chanting three, three lakh, you know. They complete whole day only are object to Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Rama. Then you have no any time taking some gapsing, gapsarnas, gaps, telling some nonsense thing, telling some criticize that, 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 that thing, no? No, you have no time here, you have no time there. What you are tell, you know, if you chanting the like the harina, then you can understand it. If somebody doing some near something there, easily everything can understand. Heart going there, heart going there, all knowledge come to you, you know, all kind of knowledge coming to you. So very powerful this holy name. Our Maharaj also. If so, how why is so much powerful? You know, he chanting every day to to love harina, you know. We have yes, sir. You are disciple of Gurudev, you also try. Then you are disciple, then you are chanting this name. Only you are take from to Harinam Gurudev. Oh, I am disciple of Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami. No, this is not enough. So Gurudev gave example. If you go to want to India, you buy one ticket. And if you ticket put in your pocket, then you can go to India. No. Then you can go to you no know, airport, taking your boarding car, yeah. 
they are checking after going low for what is the mic no? number of plane to go inside and see then you can go to India. If this ticket put in your pocket, not possible you can go to India. Like this, you are taking the ticket from the Gurudev. You are deciding on Dr. Narayan Goswami Maharaj. But if not follow to how he will bhajan sadhak, so how possible you can decide to Narayan Goswami Maharaj? Then you are disabled Narayan Goswami Maharaj, then how he will bhajan sadhak, then you can follow to the instruction here, then you are bitter, and he is deciding. Okay. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he told, if you want some realization something, you sit one place, you know. One place you can sit out in front of a dirty wood, you take Tulasi tree, in front of Tulasi tree, and this will be dark. Try to some around, you can chanting very nice, it takes your mind. And weeping, weeping, chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, 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 you can look, you know, how much time you are chanting this holy name. Only that time mind is peaceful. Then you are taking this material, then mind is suffering, you know. Also, this problem, this problem, this problem, this problem, that kind of problem. So, so, so many problems mind will be. How much time you are only chanting this holy name, only that time you are only happiness. You know? Only happiness. Another time you are thinking that you know, that will be distressed life. Okay, Ramananda Prabhu, come here. Can yes. I ask something before? Right. I heard some devotee. He said he heard you speaking, like Harikatha or morning walk. And you show all this, like very opulent rites, rich houses, rich people living on nice car and everything. And you told the devotee, like all these devo uh, like all these people, they must have chanted holy name before in some of their life, because otherwise no opulence possible to achieve. Yes. I, 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 somewhere I heard, uh, some, some, somewhere I have heard. When you chanting this holy name, he never going best, no? He must get something you. Mm. When you chanting this holy name in the without offense, you know, without offense, then he gave you Krishna faith, no? He gave Krishna faith. But sometimes if you chanting this holy name, chanting this holy name with offense, some kind of desire, but he must be fulfilled with the child. Why? He learns, he learns name in a different So I heard some Vaisnavas, when you saw your heart telling, this is truth, some Vaisnavas telling, sometimes you saw, you know, such a money, you know, they don't know how much money I have, you know. Big, big business man, you know, big, big mall, big, big factory, they are also don't know how much money I have. You know? Some Vaisnavas telling, how possible this money came to me? What previous life, what it did? Have this man, some Vaishnava tell before he was into deity and he chanting this holy name. But this with opens and this material desire, you know. And this material learn name in the chinta man. When you what he want, he can give, you know. So he gets so much opulence, you know, so much opulence he gave you, so much money. Why this holy name never going best? It must he get some fruit too, he, he must get fruit. <laughs> So, uh, how much you are chanting this holy name, name never be the best, you know. If you um, open with your friends, material desire, then next life, maybe this life also sometimes got so much money, you know, that is so lot of money every day. And the next time, you must get something, why? Right? Name never gave the best, you know, never gave the best in this name. Pramanda Guru, come here. Now, we are trying to see. Would they have some glories of different, different places? Quickly then. Yesterday you told something you did not know. Okay, now today you can with the did not speak, you try to get it. Come on. Now you will be. Okay. You can sit down. You can sit down.
probably in the whole of America you wouldn't find anyone like Gurudev in the whole of North and South America, like it's in the whole of India, how many Braj, Rasik, Tatkadashi, Vaishnavas out there, those who have actually seen the beautiful form of, of Sham Sundar Krishna and are seeing those leaders uh, within their purified heart and uh, you know, are always in touch with that supreme reality. So uh, it's so incredibly rare and how people talk about winning the lottery. Oh, they won the lottery, they won millions of dollars. Oh, I wish I was like them, wish I had won millions of dollars. But actually we have won the lottery, you know. We've got the, we've got the connection with such a, a rare, invaluable gem. You know, it's, it's Krishna extending his hand to us. That's what it is. That's why we always have to be very careful and to honor the lotus feet of our Gurudev. Never, you know, smack that hand away. We always be very, very um, cautious to offer proper respect to our, our, our supreme spiritual masters. And um, so nothing was unknown to Gurudev. Gurudev is like the, the full moon at night time. His rays go everywhere. And in the daytime, he's like the, the, the uh, sun in, in the midday sky. You know, it's his rays go everywhere. Nothing is unknown to him. And he's like the anti army. Externally, he can see everything. And internally, he, he, can, uh, he can see everything. So, um, and I'm sure devotees here have had that experience with Gurudev where he does that scan. He does that scan out here. And he just sees. <laughs> He can see everything. Anything you try and hide from him, he, he can see everything. So, um, and very penetrating, penetrating, like his fingers are moving around in your heart, you know, sifting through. People have those smartphones, you know, they're sifting through one page of sins and uppercuts. <laughs> so, um, so Gurudev was, uh, yeah, all known. One time I was in Holland and uh, I told this to the devotees, but uh, I was sitting there in class and I was thinking, because Gurudev always said, when he went to the different houses, and he just chant Hari Nam like Mara, just saying chant one lakh, two lakhs every day. When you're washing the ditches, go in the dharma, dharma, dirty. When you're sweeping the floor, when you're doing number of floors, and all this like that. So I had this idea, oh yes, I should test what Gurudev was saying. You know, I should go from my court all the way to Badranath, you know, and just depend on the Lord. Don't take passport, don't take any money, don't take anything, just depend on the Lord and just chant Hari Nam. So I was thinking in my head, uh, should I take an umbrella? Should I take a blanket? Maybe I'll take a water pot. You know, I can't take too much stuff, but you know, all these silly thoughts are going from my head. And then Guru had to stop his class and he said, Yes, and we'll go on pilgrimage from my court of Badrinath. And we'll take an umbrella, and we'll take a blanket, and we'll take a water, and we'll take this and that. He said, This is not depending on the Lord. You know? And probably all the other devotees in the room think, What's he talking about? <laughs> 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 So I gave up that idea, but um, <coughs> and uh, even last time I saw him, you know, uh, when he was there in Gopinath Bhavan, you know, I went to see Srila Rana Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Vabha, Bhavan Maharaj of Samadhi, and, you know, offered a garden there, and, and I was thinking, geez, if you were still here, I'd, I'd be in big trouble, you know, because he warned about me getting married and, and you know, leaving Brahmachari cloth, and, you know, he was very strict on that point, and I thought, if you were still here, <laughs> I'd be getting chastised. But you're not here, so, <laughs> you know. And so I put the goal and everything, and, and then I came to see Gurudev, you know, and he pulled me in, and, and I went to see him, and he said, no, I want you to become strong. Like when you're with the Randa Maharaj, you know, I want you to become strong again with Brahmachari, and, you know, and, and uh, he just knew everything from, you know, Gurudev, everyone has experienced that, so. Can you tell me about the time you came to Everyone has that. <laughs> 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 you don't want to have any <laughs> So what are his know. qualities, you know, good at, um, he has uh, the, the 28 qualities of a sadhu, but he also has the 60 qualities of Krishna to some degree. He has all those qualities. And he has the Supreme Lord always in his heart, you know. The Divine Kapu is there, Mahapu is there, Vichinaka is there, his Gurudev is there. You know, what is in Gurudev's heart? In the ultimate sense, I have no idea that, that uh, spiritual world is always manifest there. So, all those divine qualities. When when such a sad guru, when such a uh, such a heavy enters into this this prison house of doing, even though they try through the Lord's Achintya Shakti for Yoga Maya to try to pretend to be like one of us, they always stand out. They're never like they're never like one of us. It's like Hari Das Thakur going into the prison, and all the prisoners there are like, what, "What are you doing? You know, he's a great saint. What are you doing in the prison house with us?" You know. Even when Lord Jesus Christ was nailed on the cross, one of the, one of the other criminals who was nailed on the cross, he said, he doesn't deserve, he's not, he doesn't deserve to suffer like this, he's not one of us. 
you know. So we we know, even though they try to pretend to be like one of us, they're not, not like us at all. They don't tell lies. They don't perform any sinful activity. Even in childhood, they get in samadhi states and uh, sacred raptures. You know, their 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 whole life is exemplary. And um, even Gurudev, when he was young, he was called Bolanath. Bolanath. Gurudev, when he was young, his nickname was Bolanath. Wherever the mother would put him, he would sit there and, and just be totally, totally satisfied, totally happy. And Gurudev, whatever he did, he excelled. Even in school, you know, in, in his athletics, he would, he would always be, uh, uh, he would always win any competition and everything. So, you know, it's very hard to hide a Premier Bhakta. You know, even his, even his police officer activities, you know, he excelled there. And when that Krishna came there and took his form one day and, and, and performed his duties so amazingly that he got a promotion. So, and everyone, the whole village loved him. Like all the chariots, wherever they appear, the whole village, all everyone just loves them dearly. And when they leave, their, their hearts are just totally, totally broken. So, um, what have we learned from Gurudev? Well, the number one thing I, I, I myself have, have learned from Gurudev is that... Uh, Always seek that company of that Raj Rasik Vaishnava. If you want to, if you want to follow Shri Rupa Goswami, if you want to follow the eternal associates in Vrindavan, we always have to seek that company. And as Shri Rupa Goswami used to say, a beg, borrow, steal, you know, cry, cry for that Sadhu Sangha. Because if you get that type of Sadhu Sangha, then the path of devotion can easily be attained. And from Gurudev, we learn what is the Satya, like Naraj just talking about chanting. Now when we pick up our beads, if our mind wanders, we think, oh, what am I chanting for? Oh, that's right. Radhadas, Manjaras, you know. And um, also the sadhana. Gurudev has made it very clear if you want that Bhagavad Madhuri or Lord Maya Shraddha, that kind of Shraddha, you know, in, with intense greed, it can only come from the, from that Vaishnavi hashtag, you know. So he's really instilled in us, you know, for your whole life, that's your mission, get that association. Then we'll make leaps and bounds in spiritual life, otherwise spiritual life will be very, very slow. Very slow. So, um, <clears throat> so, so uh, because he carries the all good in his heart, you know, Krishna is all good. He can never do anything bad. Even when he kills the demons, he gives them moksha, he gives them liberation, he gives them the same forms, uh, the form as mother or associates, his own same form, the, the sulukya, mukti in Vaikuntha. So Gurudev eats curses, his benedictions, everything he does is, is all good. And not Gurudev, Gurudev not only helped the human beings of this world, he helped other living entities as well. You know, I remember one time in Hawaii, he went out and gave mercy to the whales. Yeah, and there's a whole story behind that. He went out there and gave mercy to the whales, and mercy to a dog, you know, to mercy to any living entity. That's a sad his heart. He wants to up uplift not only the human beings, but all, all spirit souls. And how, how, good, how encouraging Gurudev was to the, to the the lady devotees, to the lady disciples. I didn't see that before until I, until I came to show you that. First time I saw him mature at Martin, I walked in there, and he was on the second floor, you know, down, and there's all these lady disciples in there, and I was standing there at the end, just waiting and waiting, and he's, he's just like, just pouring out his heart, and there's so much love and affection, and I thought, well, wow, I was just, you know, he was just really um, encouraging, you know, very encouraging. Yeah, when, when I am a prat, I saw you know, Gurudev so much old age, when it came to Radharani birthdays, Krishna's birthday, Mahaprabhu, you know, I saw how much is your enthusiasm. Sometimes you are cut an ear, a new ear, but you are sometimes surprised, you know. When you go to you saw to Gurudev, you see enthusiasm. Radha is coming, Krishna Jarmash coming, how can we celebrate this Utsa, you know. When Gurudev is staying in Mathura, maybe for five days, when Radharani birthday coming, Maybe for five, seven days, he had glories of Radharani past time. You know? Gurudev asked to everybody, and all Brahmachari and Sanyasi, they are prepared, sir. You know, even goes everybody house, Bhan Maharaj, Madhav Maharaj, they are coming, and others are Brahmachari, you know, they saw, then you prepare, sir. You know, about the Radharani Tattva. Gurudev, you know, he gave so much of the enthusiasm to everybody. So he gave so much of the enthusiasm to everybody. He can speak, he can do seven days, when Radharani only past time. And you can master, you know, you have so much enthusiasm, so much enthusiasm. That time was for five, seven days, only Krishna's glorification. You know, Krishna is the Supreme Personal Godhead. When you go to Prabhupada's birthday, yeah, his, his Gurudev's birthday, I mean, so much I saw in Gurudev. When he became old age, how much he had enthusiasm, bhakti. You know, yesterday, our Gaurav telling, there's the, uh, 
nine symptoms of Vaitam Rati, you know, Bhav. So I saw this all symptom, Gurudev, Khyantri, Abhartha, Kalata, Bhirati, Mahana, Sunnita, Asavanda, Samudka, Dhyana, the nine symptoms. I saw, you know, everything present in Gurudev life. Everything present in Gurudev life, you saw. 24 hours completely engaged, you know, 24 hours is engaged to Krishna service, Krishna Katha, Krishna Lila, Krishna Pashtang, right in the scripture, you know, I saw God symptom, the Mahabharata symptom, the present the, his body and his uh, life. So, we have so, so, so. I think another day we can take the I just finish up. Yeah. Um, sir. Now, someone now will be deciding. Now, everyone will tell you. Now, I just want to finish up by just saying that Srila Gurudev was respected in, in by all the uh, Vaishnava charis and all the Gaudiya Mats and all the, all the uh, realized Vaishnavas. They all had great regard for him and would love to read his, his, his um, books. You know, Gurudev had wrote nearly 100 books, but to promote Guru Maharaj, would love to receive his books. Yeah, yeah. Srila Gaudiya Sangha spent all night reading his, his books. And um, you know, Gurudev is as tolerant as the earth, and like as far as writing scriptures, he would love to read with us. You know. so, uh, I know Gurudev, you know, another Gaudiya but you know. Yeah. He can any problem there, everybody can be good there. That all about him, but why? That time, good there, but he has very famous name, you know. Very name and very, very famous that time. Also, three dham, Navadri dham, Jagannath Puri, and this is the, and Vrindavan. You know, there are good there, very, very famous, there are all this dham, very, very. If somebody listening, you are a good there, 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 you both of uh, hey, you know, the dark, both the high, oh, you're yeah, my house, and my oh, it's a very good sadhu, you know, it's a very good sadhu. If, before you had, if any prajavas never gave the respect to anybody, you know, hello, Krishna always eating our remnant, you know, they are never, but they are given so much respect to our good, they are given. So all Gauri, any problem that can be good there, and the good there said to Brahmachari, Sanyasi, if some problem can go there, you know. Help to them. So, all when Gurudev they are, you know, they are telling all Gauri Bhattas, so much state. Oh, if something coming any problem in our life, then Narayan Maharaj is there, you know. Narayan Maharaj is Why? Before we will be police officer, you know. He knows all the rule and regulation and law. So, so many times, so many Brahmacharya also tell Mathura temple, so Gurudev always helpful to all, everybody person he helped. So, Namo Vishnaya Krishna Rastana Bhutana Shanti Pogurinda Swamilati Nama Shatana Vira Vira Pogurinda Shishina Bhakti Vinanta Shivana Vajitpurani Tara Shiva Prabhupada Nishikura Bhakti Nishikura Pogurinda So, uh, continuing in the vein, how uh, brain started Gurudev did have a heavy, of course he was very sweet, he, had, he could uh, told us so many beautiful pastimes of Radha Krishna to inspire us, but he also had a heavy side. And I remember, I remember quite often when devotees came to Gurudev and uh, they would ask him, well Gurudev, how can I serve you? And Gurudev would give them some instruction. And then they would add something to that instruction, oh Gurudev, what about this? And Gurudev would in three words, he would totally dismantle any uh, false conception of what they think they should do. He would use the words, as you like. And uh, that just, if anyone had any introspection, they would realise that we're off. But uh, yeah, it was, it was very powerful. Like that. But I remember um, going on Paragram, I'm sure lots of devotees have been on Paragram. And uh, Gurudev, I remember one time in Talavad, Gurudev told the story of the donkey. And uh, the donkey, get, in summertime, when there's lots of grass, the donkey eats lots of grass, and he looks back and there's still lots of grass. So he doesn't, he thinks he hasn't eaten much. But actually, he has eaten a lot, but he, think he, ha he thinks he hasn't, and he gets thin. He gets anxiety and he gets thin, even though he's eaten a lot. And then in winter, when there's not much food, not much grass, he looks back and he thinks he's eaten heaps because there's no grass there. And he actually gets fat. And Gurudev said, this is like you, you come to the program, but you um, 
you're thinking your health is going down, your business is going down. Uh -huh. My business back in, in the West is, is losing money. Um, I'm missing my family. But actually, you're gaining so much. You can't see, but I can see. So uh, it would inspire us like that to keep coming to Parker. And um, another nice, I remember Gurude, when he came to, came to the showgrounds here to, to, for the festivals, at the end of the festivals he would always say, so like these 10 days and these two weeks have gone very quickly, so your life will also go very quickly, so don't be weak. So, uh, um, and the greatest thing I think Gurude has left, left for us is the beautiful sannyasis like Sri, Sri Dhammaraja and so many nice sannyasis. Gurudev has trained them so nicely, given them so much. And they're, they're coming here and giving what they've got from Gurudev to us. So uh, thank you, Gurudev, for, for this. I was thinking about Gurudev being, I've heard sannyasis or acharya should be as strong as a thunderbolt and as soft as a lotus petal. I never really got to see Gurudev as strong as a thunderbolt, but um, witness times of him being as soft as a lotus petal. And in my reflections, um, twice with my kids, once when we went and saw him leave at Brisbane Airport and uh, I was holding my daughter Shanti and my wife said, Gurudev, will you be back again soon? And he looked and he said yes and he looked at my daughter and said, and I'll take her with me. <laughs> <laughs> and then another time we were at Dr T's place and um, it was a nice quite intimate darshan with our three young kids and my middle one Jai was very shy and half hiding behind me and Gurudev was trying to encourage the kids to sit closer, sit closer and he didn't want to and Gurudev jokingly said, you come here, I'll tie you to this post and keep you here with me <laughs> and the look on my son's face was priceless. <laughs> He was so sweet. So thank you, Gurudev, for blessing us. Did he Gurudev come there? He, Did he come uh, close yeah. to No, Gurudev, you know, you can hardly tell you, Gurudev like this thunderbolt, you know, when it's an hour side. And so Gurudev, you know, if somebody doing some run in the bhakti, then Gurudev very, become very angry, you know. Become very angry if saw some opposite of this bhakti. Very quickly he became angry. But after he became very soft, very soft. So when Gurudev sit the this bhajan putri bhajan putri he, got, he sit down the chair, you know, nobody in front of, you know, nobody going there, you know. He <laughs> Gurudev so much afraid of Brahmaj, you know, so much afraid with him, so much afraid. And he went doing something wrong, he became thunderbolt. You know. But after he became very soft, you know, very soft, like this uh, makhan, like this butter, you know, he was soft also and thunderbolt also. So if somebody, bhajan sadhan, very serious, because they become so happy to him, you know, they become so happy. If somebody chanting, very remembering, and especially if somebody tried learning slow, very kata, Gurudev became so happy to him, you know. Gurudev always telling, Learn this all father if a very big business, if some father of a very big business, 
then if you have so many children then you look which children such as children after me look after this business very nice all father that they have hope so we are telling what is our business you know our business is the what mahaprabhu teach to us the following also and preaching this is our business if gurudev saw somebody will be carefully learning all the scripture you know doing very sadhana bhajan very nicely gurudev became so happy you know after me you know after me he can all this mahaprabhu teaching mahaprabhu art preaching all do all he can do preaching this thing so gurudev became so happy to him. so hari krishna prabhu can can met with him by various Maharaj and he was being given a message and that he still had time to meet with the Lord Kiwi people who he desired to and get his touch on and just being a, a straight person not looking past it on myself not, not a scholar about Krishna knew nothing and still learning and um, he still had time to speak to me and the way it all happened when he's having his message, he's finished his message, then he went and made offerings for his to redeem. And that in itself, to me, it was like astounding that he paid his respects after his message, before he would speak to anybody else, and afterwards that was an acceptable person. And then he proceeded to talk to me and and um, in very simple terms, he said, come to India. And I, I did, many years later, I did go to India. And I visited his temple in um, Nauru. But the thing is that what amazed me the most is that he, he came here many times. And I could see in the devotees' lives that he, the devotees were really so happy to see him. They're always very, very happy to see him. And... I became that with so many times. And I'm, I'm an unfortunate soul. I only met him in the, the later years of his life. And um, having gone to India was, and have seen his temples, I could see the crowds of people who were wishing to get his darshan. And he still had the time to get darshan to anyone who wished it. And I know Kremlin was talking about some things, but he, he also made himself available to people, which that in itself is an exceptional person. And um, he, he can give each person a message. And um, simple messages, contact messages, whatever they need at that point in time. Um, so having seen the crowds and going to Michael and going to the temples there, the crowds waiting for him, he, he ushered in. People are pushing to see him, to get close to him. And as soon as he starts speaking, silence. People are listening. And I thought, oh, that's an amazing thing to happen. Because everyone's so intent to, to see him, be near him, get his dash time. And um, like Baron said, that he's given a gift to many different Maharaj to follow his lineage. And uh, so his teaching continues. Um, not for us, and not for the Sri Maharaj, and various Maharaj are still coming to Buddha. We've got a small population here, but we're all very lucky and very busy. And 
Um, I just I met the devotees when I was older. I was in my forties, um, so I I hadn't hadn't been in Iskon and I didn't know much about Krishna consciousness. Um, but when I started thinking about it. It just all seemed like it was just what I was looking for, and um, everything seemed really wonderful. And I met I met Mekla, and um, she told me that if we wanted to um, make progress in Christian consciousness, we had to do service. So I asked her if I could have some service, and. Um, she said I could scan some photos for Chandra Mukhi and there were photos of Gurudev and I'd never met Gurudev but um, when I got photos of Gurudev and I I um, I'd started to chant, Nicola had taught, taught, taught me how to chant on the Bitcoin beads and when I had the photos I was scanning of Gurudev I started to feel that he was looking at me from the photo and um, that he really loved me and he just, even though I hadn't met him in person at that time, he just seemed really wonderful. And I asked Mekli if I could get initiated because Gurudev wasn't coming to Australia that, that year. If I could go to India and get initiated. And we wrote to Gurudev and Gurudev wrote back to me and he said, I've already accepted you as my darling daughter. And I, I, that really touched my heart so much. And um, when I met, went and met him in Govardhan, and um, I was initiated there, and um, everything about him was so wonderful. His, his smile was so wonderful. He, his, his humility and his generosity, and like everybody was saying, he was. He had so many followers, but we all each individually felt that he loved me and he knew me. And he showed us what real love really is, and he told us everything about the purpose of life. And um, we just wouldn't be anywhere without him. Like someone was saying yesterday, Gurudev gave initiation to some unqualified people and, and he told him if he, he told someone if I didn't help them they would have no hope in this life and that's that's how I that was my situation and um, now that I, I've, I'm in this this path of bhakti um, every day there's hope and it, and Gurudev's always looking after all of us and he's always he always was looking over us and he promised to take us back to the Lord Vrindavan and um, any words that he says must be true. So, um, Jai Shem Yunif. You are just one text speaking something? Ruzi, yeah, you want this problem?
I'm so grateful to be here amongst all of you. I feel so grateful to be here amongst all of you, my dear God brothers and sisters. As soon as I walked in, I came a bit late, and just hearing everything, just it's just like nectar. I just feel so close to Gurudev's his presence so strongly. And I remember just after he left, one I think it was Sajjan Lord or someone said that that Gurudev hasn't left. He's just jumped into everybody's hearts, and it just feels like that because. He's, all, he's in everybody's heart and all these beautiful memories are like beautiful jewels. Um, I was, I was um, remembering how personal Srila Gurudev was and how, how, like, how selfless and caring he was, how he is. Actually, I'm going to use was because it is, because he's still here. Um, and how when I first met him, in, he came to Moroba, he actually came to our house. <laughs> and changed our life completely around. Um, it was his Vyasa Puja that day, uh, that, that night here, and I remember him doing the RT and then sitting down on the couch in the lounge room and everybody coming to Dr. Pushpanjali. And he was embracing, oh, well, he didn't embrace the women, but he was embracing nearly every, all of the men that came there, he would give them a big hug. And um, that, amongst other things, just was so, just he just showed me how much affection he had for everybody. Like you could just feel that. You could feel that hug, even though you couldn't hug women. <laughs> you could feel it, <laughs> and you know, just brought tears to my eyes, to everyone's eyes, just constantly pouring with tears, just with his love and affection. And um, and and then I was thinking how that's actually that love and affection and that selfless service he has. That in every single activity, every moment, every breath is constantly serving the lotus feet of his Gurudev and Sri Sri Radha and Krishna and constantly out for the welfare of every single jiva in the universe. Um, and every, you know, everyone who came into his presence could feel that, that love and affection and care. And not only that, he accepted us as his. So, you know, became, he, he became our guardian and our friend, our everything. And, um, I mean, I was thinking yesterday, I've, I've thought of this many times, but I was actually really kind of hit me, but I actually know someone, like he said to us, I think it was in Vrindavan and we'd, had, we'd just arrived and the first time we were from Vrindavan and having a bit of a difficult time. And he said, don't be worried, you should always, always think that my hand is above your head. And to actually contemplate that now, all these years later, how strong that is. It, he is there, he's right there, his hand is always above our head. And it's just amazing when you really contemplate that there's a personality like that. And, um, and, and so, yeah, I mean, there's countless memories that come to my mind. I don't want to take too much time, but... Um, I remember when we first came to Great Brahma also, uh, it was the first day of Kartik and the Shiva Bhakti, his, his, our Param Gude, Shiva Bhakti broke down Keshe Maharaj's discipline stay on that day. And uh, it was Prashadam and everyone was sitting on the, in the rows on the top of um, uh, Keshe Jibodi Mati Matura. And Shiva Gude went around to every single person and asked, have you had enough to eat? Prashad, have you got a place to stay? He just went around every, everyone. Um, you know, whatever opportunity, he was always so caring. Like um, Chandrasekhar Prabhu said, he had time for every single person. I remember in Italy, and this was the last year he was present with us, there was probably about a thousand people at that festival. And they, the rooms where he stayed weren't big enough for any darshan, so they arranged a darshan. Um, at the venue where the class was held and uh, I just, everyone lined up, there was this huge line, Shula Gurudev was on the stage, were you there? A huge line, Shula Gurudev was on the stage and one by one they were all coming up to have some exchange with him or give him some offering and I was just sitting watching the whole thing and I was just so, just watching Shula Gurudev interact with every single one of them. This is like a thousand people there, <laughs> a lot of people. 
And some people would look at him and they'd have a whole exchange and, you know, and then other people wouldn't, they'd be too scared to look, so they'd just give something. And Greta would still somehow or other, you know, he would kind of respond how they would respond, but somehow or other he was just giving something to every single person. So, anyway. <laughs> and um, just another thing. Um, that, that, that love and affection was there. That love and he was so, so, so much concerned that we take what he's giving because this life is so rare, this human life is so rare, to come into this association is so rare. And into the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, only 500 years ago he disappeared. And into such saintly association of Srila Buddha, he really was so concerned that we take what he's giving us. And so he, he was wanting us to become strong. He would say, be strong, don't be weak. And in that, in those words, he was giving the potency to be strong, not to be weak. And just follow, follow me and follow him and we will be strong. I, I this one time he told me, be strong. And I said, how can I be strong? And he said, that whenever you, whenever you approach any activity, you should think, would my Gurudev do this or would my Gurudev not? And then if you do it, follow what Gurudev would do, then you'll be strong. <laughs> and training everyone in Tattva and Siddhanta, even the girls, <laughs> he would, or well, everyone, children, anyone, he would, he would um, want us to learn the, the Tattva and Siddhanta, the, the philosophical understandings. As, you know, to study Java Dharma, study the books uh, of that you know that he has written. So he wrote so many books, and and of course we also have so many lectures transcribed and so many lectures to listen to. But you know, he, he become strong in Tattva and Siddhanta and then preach everywhere. And I was thinking it's actually really tricky because um, I tried to follow that and some or other here and giving classes here and there now. Um, and um, it's actually, you know, when you speak Hare Kita, you have to control your whole mind. When you chant, it's easy for your mind to go here and there. When you have to speak, you have to concentrate and also you have to say the right thing. So it's actually such an expert process, hearing and chanting. And, you know, and we saw him, you know, it, he would get everyone up to speak here and there, training everybody to become strong. And so, you know, that was to take us away from this world, detach us from this material atmosphere and establish us in the truth. And when we meditate on those Tattva and Siddhanta, the, the truths of the um, philosophy and, the, and chant meditating on that, it become, will become gradually fixed in our heart so that... Um, we can actually really make solid progress and cross beyond this world. So, anyway, I have to stop me because I can keep going. <laughs> can, can I say one more little thing? Can I say one more little thing? Um, I was just, I was just thinking how he was. He said to Brajanath Prabhu, "Always be with me." One time, so he took that literally, and he did. He was always with him. Everywhere, and then Rajanath Prabhu told, said that um, he met one lady in Hawaii who had the same instruction, and um, she has a family, and she wasn't about to just be able to get up and always be with him. And she went to him, and he said, um, uh, "You know, how can I follow that instruction?" And he said, "She said, he said, don't be a fool. I mean, always be with me in your heart." And we, we know that Buddha is always with us, but are we always with him? And so, something to meditate on. Anyway, Jay, I should have been it. Yes. Quickly, quickly. I want to get the chance to everybody. You don't want to speak. You want to speak to you? Quickly, everybody. High five, not more. 
So Rudek would sometimes, he would always say when it was the appearance day of any Acharya, he would request the devotees to say something about their life and something about their teachings. So I just had a few very little thoughts that I just wanted to say uh, a few things about Gurudev's life and a few things about some of the slokas that he gave us that became so prominent and so wonderful in our lives. So I was just thinking that uh, his life is just a complete exemplification of service and uh, initially in the beginning of his life uh, we see that he had so much service in his childhood, he was a Ram Bhakta, but he also had so much service to his family. And uh, I read in his brother's little booklet that he wrote about Gurudev that Gurudev, after he had met the disciple, the devotees, and heard about Shilabhatu Prana and Keshimaraj, he so much wanted to leave and go with him. But his whole family was relying on him. He was. He was the police officer, he was the breadwinner, he, he had many personalities who, was, who were relying on him. But his heart was so soft and so filled with affection for everyone that his brother said that many times he went to the outskirts of the village and he turned around and came back. But then one time he, he was just feeling so intensely drawn to Shilabhati Pragan to go and be with the Vaishnavas, but his heart was just so melted with affection and he had rendered so much service there. But then he said that one time he got a, a message that if you don't come this time, then you, you will miss the chance. So that uh, burning desire and his, that, that divine inspiration carried him across that, that uh, dutiful and loving service mood that he had to his family. And he said that when he went to his Gurudev, he took all the affection that he previously had from his mother, his father, his wife, his children, and he placed that in, in the lotus feet of his Gurudev. And so we saw how he was actually a complete um, embodiment of, of the perfect servant of his Gurudev, but not only that, he was the embodiment of the perfect servant of all his god brothers. He, and, uh, he, we, we were so honoured to see him with his god brothers and see how he he reciprocated with Trivikar Maharaj and Shilabhana Maharaj and so many of his other god brothers, just always uh, giving so much honour and respect and and so much sweet, beautiful, intimate, loving dealings. This was just such a an amazing thing that we also got to witness what a perfect god brother looks like. And even when he had some falling out with with the, some of the god brothers, even when they would come, he would still he would offer them cloth and donations and, and respect and honor. And so he, he we got to see a, the, the ideal perfect god brother, and he was the perfect servant of all the Vaishnavas. Um, Maharaj is telling us how many Vaishnavas would come to him to have all problems reconciled. He would he was famous for. Uh, facilitating all the Vaishnavas on the Rajmandal Parikrams, organizing accommodation and taking care of so many uh, assets right up to his his last days. He was making sure everyone was, was looked after, but in his youth also helping Shilabhati Raghavan Keshmaraj organize so many Parikrams. He also is famous for uh, serving all the prominent disciples of Shilabhati Sananda Saraswati Thakur under the under the, while he was with his own Gurudev, he also was engaged in, in the service of all the prominent disciples. So he was so imbued with that service mood. Uh, he, he also rendered so much service in the later, throughout his, throughout his many years, but especially in the later part of his life to Shula Prabhupada, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shula Prabhupada, his Shiksha Guru, and also to Shula Prabhupada's uh, society the Iskon Society, 
tirelessly giving so much uh, guidance, instruction, inspiration, and in his last years of his life, traveling the world 33 times uh, in, in 14 years at, at such an elderly age, and with so much opposition and so much uh, ungrateful behavior by so many, the very people that he was trying to help in, in many situations, he said he saw that Srila Prabhupada had planted everywhere so many seeds. Some had become small creepers, some were small bushes, some were small trees, but all were drying up. So he was bringing that same wine and the different, same water in a different bottle to give them life. And he re-enthused hundreds of, of disciples of Srila Prabhupada who had lost their inspiration and their motivation. And then their families and then whole communities became like, like, uh, new, new brush, the whole community actually became completely re-enthused and he did, he did this all around the world. So he also rendered service to all and also today many of the prominent preachers in ISKCON, they all take inspiration from Gurudev's books. They may not do it openly but I've heard some of their classes and they, what they're, they're getting so much, some of them have even you know, said to me, yes, I read so much your Gurudev's books. So that inspiration that Gurudev was giving, the focus, I, I remember in the early 90s when some of the senior members of, of ISKCON were going to Gurudev, I remember at that time uh, I used to go every year to the to Vrindavan during Kartik and they would have um, what was called the VIHE, the Vaishnava Institute for Higher Education, and they run many courses. And in the early 90s, those courses became so surcharged and so much uh, happiness and enthusiasm and so much focus of, on Krishna and Vrindavan. And that was because at the time I was always thinking, well, how are they, these senior devotees, they're feeling so, you know, where are they getting all this inspiration from? Because each would be te teaching a different course uh, with, with so much focus on the predecessor Acharyas and so much focus on Krishna and Vrindavan, which previously hadn't been there and, and the whole energy became so surcharged so uh, this, this is so much Gurudev's contribution we, we just can't even estimate how much he's he's contributed to the the Vaishnav uh, world and, and what his, what his um, contribution has been and, and how that's can to, to Mahaprabhu's mission and how that's continuing to grow and expand and, and for the future, how much uh, that, that, that glorious emphasis of, of Gurudev on really making sure that Mahaprabhu's mission, his mission to, to actually give Rag Bhakti in this world, how this is becoming manifest. And also Gurudev rendered service to all jivas. I, I um, yeah, traveling the world tirelessly, just so many ordinary jivas managed to come under the the uh, praying atoms that were emanating from Gurudev's body that they were uplifted and showered. And I, I got to travel quite a few times on, on planes with Gurudev and it was like an amazing experience. It was like that, that bubble the, of the plane that Gurudev was on, it's like every person in that plane got uplifted. <laughs> so one time we were on the plane and there was an article with Gurudev in the newspaper and I remember walking down the aisle and I saw he's on the plane and then all these people they were reading about him at the same time <laughs> people just became so you know you'd sit next to someone and you'd tell them about Gurudev and they'd just be the, the, the whole atmosphere was just so completely surcharged and he was kind to all living entities I remember one time in Cessna he said oh we won't walk this that way today because the cows will become afraid of us when we walk by or you know, others are telling so many stories. So his whole being, uh, one devotee said today, Shula Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he said, if there is some personality who is 24 hour, 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds surrendered to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but one second of the day they're not, then I cannot surrender unto that person or accept from this guru. Therefore, I've taken initiation, I, I accept Shri Dwarka Shaw Bas, Das Babaji Maharaj because he is that person who is 24 hours a day surrendered. So our Gurudev, he is such a personality, he is 24 hours a day surrendered 
I did his guru day who was 24 hours a day surrendered so we have just such a divine so I know my time's running out I just want to say one or two um, uh, verses that I, I, I find that actually every single verse that I read in any scripture it fits perfectly with Guru Dev. It it is alive because of Guru Dev. It is it is real and it's uh, something in Guru Dev's life, something in his teaching, something in his character. It is all there in every verse. There is not one single aspect of the Shastra and Guru Dev's life and teaching that is not completely in line and completely in harmony. So um, when he first came here, he really established Guru Tattva and what is Sri Guru and what is what is the what is our parampara? Then he also uh, gave us very wonderful understanding of the verse Anapita Charimtara. If you read Srila Prabhupada's uh, translation, the English translation, which was the only translation the Western world had available, that you know the it's it's said that he Mahaprabhu has come out of his own cause of mercy and he and he's offered to the world what no incarnation had ever offered before, the most sublime and radiant mellow of devotional service, the mellow of conjugal love. So by our own understandings, we could never have understood that that meant Manjari Bhav. Prabhupada, Shri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, he only mentioned the word Manjari, I think, two or three times, if you see in the Veda base. So, but Gurudev, he, he revealed this and he expanded this and now this conception is, is there in the whole Vaishnava communities and uh, then he also gave this beautiful emphasis and this beautiful verse he revealed so much the glories of Shri Vishwamath Chakravati Thakur and the glories of his teachings and, and he gave us uh, this beautiful verse again and again Araja Bhagavan, Bhagavan Rajesha so this whole sloka is completely encapsulates the whole of my, the whole goal and process and uh, aspiration of our whole life and our whole line and and Gurudev, he made made everything come alive. There's there's just so many beautiful verses. Um, Tadnama Rupam, uh, just and then also. Prem Ras Nariyas, he, he really showed us that, um, you know, that Mahaprabhu has come and he's come with the speciality of Rag Marg. And he, he took away our fear that this was something that wasn't for us. He, he actually uh, instilled us with this confidence and this hope and this aspiration that actually this is the goal that we should all be aspiring for. For Radhadasyam, that this is not something that you have to wait millions and millions of lives to aspire for. You may have to await, await millions of lives to attain it, but you can start aspiring for it in this very lifetime. And he made that such a reality, and then that filled our lives up with complete and utter total sweetness. And then he, he made every aspect of our lives conducive for aspiring for that that goal, bringing us to Vrindavan, taking us to so many places, giving us so many beautiful Shastras, Prem Sampud, Vani Geet, Bhakti Rasayan, uh, Bhajan Rahasya. This is just astounding that all of these scriptures have come into our lives and with Gurudev's uh, divine guidance and, and careful uh, um, explanations and, and taking us from our lowest position and, and pointing us in that direction and then showing us how step by step without in any way jumping over or taking anything cheaply how this path can be traversed so what what we've been given what he wants to give us he would always say come with me to Vrindavan that's where that's where he wants to take us all and that's what he's manifesting for us and this is just such an astounding, astounding thing that such a personality has come from that land, come here all the way down, way down under and come right into our very homes and 
and with complete love and affection brought us to his his shelter. So thank you everyone for sharing so
everybody's been talking about uh, the, so much love and affection Sri Gurudev. Um, and of course that was his mood, it was just emanating, everything he did was just emanating from his heart. He, had, he used to wear a heart-shaped tilak here over his heart and he'd, if he wrote you a letter he would sign it, my heartly blessings. So it was all from the heart, it was all about his heart. And the flowers over there were reminding me of how he would say that he, he's collecting hearts and stringing them to give as a garland to Radha and Krishna the lotus feet. And uh, if there was any difficulty, and sometimes, you know, these were really what we would think of as very big difficulties, he would just say, this is a very small insect and I can remove it. Just like taking a small insect off of a, a flower so that he could remove those insects from our heart very easily. And uh, another thing I remember he said uh, when he was about to write, he was talking about some biographies of certain um, that were written by certain personalities and he said hmm, they're not showing any inner moods but when I, he was about to write the biography of his Gurudev he said but when I present this um, biography of my Gurudev Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Maharaj you will see all the inner moods so this is so important that when we speak about Gurudev that uh, we should try our best from where we are to uh, say something of his inner moods and uh, we can see more about somebody what they write about some, like for instance Gurudev writing about his guru then we uh, we understand more about Gurudev from that than we can about uh, from biographies written by other people so also, there was another side, because Gurudev was always very making us be very careful. He would say, um, you know, he, he was here and he was, especially in 1996, 97, he was giving this incredibly high Harikata, that we'd never heard anything like this before. It was Unata Ujvala Ras, giving us this incredibly high thing and uh, just to give us a taste for hearing Harikata. And even when he wasn't speaking that Brajlila, he was speaking in such a Rasik way, like he, um, I remember him saying here that when Sita was banished to go back to the forest, then she was okay. But Lord Ram, he was in the palace, but he, his clothes were worn and torn, and he couldn't eat or drink, he couldn't sleep, he was rubbing his face on the floor. And this is the type of thing I'd never heard before. So he was giving this incredibly high Harikata. But he would say also another thing I remember Gurudev saying here was, He said, uh, many devotees, especially lady devotees, they want to meditate on Astakalya Lila, but they don't know Upadesha Amrita. So he would say like this, you know, don't try and jump. Don't try and jump to these very high things without a solid foundation. One time also we were in Mathura and there was a there was hundreds of people there, many Indians, many people from all over the world. And he looked around, he scanned everybody. Mahagurudev would sometimes scan and he could look into the hearts of every single person there. And he said, most of you are sahajas. Don't try and jump. So, you know, it's in this Kali Yuga, it's um, the nature of everyone to try and take things cheaply, 
but Gurudev, even though he was giving us such a high thing, he was always very aware of keeping us safe from offence. And uh, also by establishing very much the importance of being attached to our Gurudev, well, Shiksha and Diksha Gurudev. And uh, that way we can be safe from offence. And this Guru said he'd never actually seen Gurudev be sharp like a thunderbolt. I've seen it. And it's very, there's so much mercy in it. Because it's like, you know, when a, there's a small child about to run onto the road, you know, he says, stop. You know, and, and you might sound angry, but he's stopping us. He's trying to cut us, cut our attachment to Maya trying to make sure that we're mm, not acting from a place of false ego as much as possible and cutting any mis, uh, misbehaviors or any sort of uh, misconceptions that might be passed on. So he, he could be very, very hard like a thunderbolt like a lightning rod. But there's so much mercy in it. And uh, this is Gurudev's speciality, to give us the very highest thing, but at the same time, make sure that our foundation is very strong. As uh, Chandra Mukhidivi was saying, he would always put so much emphasis on Tattva and Siddhanta, that we must have that foundation of Tattva and Siddhanta. He said to me, if you ever do any drama play or speak in public, there must be so much tattva and siddhanta. Not just Leela. You have to have that foundation of tattva and siddhanta. And he said, then present very simply so that everybody can understand. So this is really Gurudev's speciality. You know, there, no, nobody else was giving such a high thing and keeping that, well, they were, but Gurudev was doing it very openly. Even if Srila Prabhupada was doing both at the same time as well, he was not so openly giving us this very high, high thing. And at the same time, constantly keeping us in check, um, not to make any offense or make any, uh, lose our footing. So, Hare Krishna. So I'll just say something so short on just some uh, personal feelings that I have about how um, I joined Krishna consciousness a long time ago in 1971. I had the great fortune to take from my spiritual master Ace Bhaktivinoda Swami Prabhupada. Then I met Shiva Guru Govinda Maharaj and he, his uh, one letter that came to me was to take instruction and guidance from the pure Vaishnava. So then shortly after that he left this planet. I was going to take shelter of Guru Govinda Maharaj, but then he left the planet. And then Srila Gurudev came. And so he was a great sadhu. So I, I became attracted to Srila Gurudev. And I went to them for guidance and help. And uh, the first time I had Darshan with him, I told him of my life and what I was going through, the difficulties I was having. And so he threw up his hands and he said, be like me. And he looked at this hand and that hand and said, never look back. So I was always looking back at my past because it was so uh, traumatic that I experienced in my past. And all of us, we all had our stories and conditioning. But we all have our, our sad stories. 
But I felt, uh, uh, okay, I'm going to try and do this, not to look back. But uh, I didn't succeed. <laughs> I, keep, I keep looking back and looking back. But now that I'm coming towards the end of my life, and I can see that uh, the wild goose chase is coming to an end. And, uh, and so this is an art of liberty. Even you don't realize how Guru has entered your heart, how all these blessings have come to me in this lifetime, that now I am starting to feel completely that there is no hope in materialistic life. So this is an amazing, uh, an amazing blessing. This in itself um, causes great encouragement and uh, inspiration in my life. So now I can feel uh, a freedom to uh, become deeper and more serious because uh, like a, a marathon runner is coming to the end of the race. He's got to give it his, his very best at the end, try to finish up with uh, that last push forward. So um, by their blessings, I feel that uh, I am getting this. So I thank all of my spiritual preceptors for helping me in this way. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. As I said, speaking is not really one of my fortes, but I'd like to get better at it, so this is just me doing baby steps right now. And I'd just like to thank Marge for coming here, being with us on this occasion as well. I appreciate you being here with us for three days back there. I pray the lotus feet of Srila Gorgavinda Swami, who brought me to Krishna consciousness in my teenage years, and my Srila Gurudev Narayan Goswami Maharaj, who continued uh, with the labor of love when I came to him at the age of 24 years. I remember in my early 20s when I lived in Melbourne Temple in Iskon, we used to have a separate Guru Puja from the Temple Morning Program where we would sing Guru Pipa Bindu Dia and recite the translation in English. So Gurudev, by a drop of your mercy, make this servant of yours more humble than a blade of grass and give me the strength to bear all trials and troubles. Although I recite these prayers, I know my heart is not really in it because I don't really want to be humble and I hate any kind of trials or troubles. In fact, for years in my attempt to serve Gurudev, I tried all kinds of things unnatural to myself, being humble, tolerant and bending over backwards to be something I'm not. And I know now all I can do is be myself and hand my soul, body and words over to Srila Gurudev and let him do the best he can with me. The truth is, I would have been finished without this Krishna Consciousness movement and without Srila Narayan Raj. So I might be bad now, but I would have been much worse. I remember in India watching the humble and sweet devotees and I tried to imitate them also to be like them. I bent myself like a bamboo stick to please Vaishnavas, but inevitably that bamboo stick straightened itself back up and I was left with who I really was again. I learned that it's just better to be yourself and add Krishna consciousness in your life. It takes a huge strain off and you can be happy and enjoy the process of associating with and serving Gurudev. So I'm not a humble person, but whatever qualities I do have, at least I can use them in Krishna's service. I realized with whatever I had, I had to be comfortable in that, in myself and offer that. The major change I recall in myself when I came to Srila Gurudev was the way he blessed me to start internally realizing things. For example, in Iskon, I would sing so many bhajans, and even though I had friendship with girls who grew up with Srila Gurudev Swami, 
from who I learned the tunes from, I didn't really understand what I was singing. But in the Gordian Mud, I started to have some real realizations about the bhajans. So even though Gurudev wasn't present with me at the time, he was helping me to realize these bhajans. So Narayan Ranch himself would teach us tattva and slokas because he knew women were capable of doing more than cooking and cleaning. They could also do dramas and sing bhajans and speak classes. I actually love temple services like cooking and cleaning, but I also like the freedom to do these other services that Srila Gurudev made possible. Srila Gurudev was soft-hearted and a contemporary and forward thinker. Although some people may not have been happy about it, he came to the West to distribute Krishna consciousness. He gave us Harinam and Diksha even to devotees he knew would not always follow because he has a great heart, because he is a magnanimous personality. He took chances giving the women, girls and children chances to speak, to do dramas and sing because he's exceptional. And he also was broad-minded enough to understand the Western people were different and the Western mentality. It was difficult for me when Srila Gurudev left, I kind of lost interest in Krishna consciousness. But Srila Gurudev has given us such a great chance and left us with great association, still present on this earth and he's always present with us. So we should always be hopeful and enthusiastic to serve. Srila Gurudev taught us about the importance of good association. One good association for us can make a huge difference in our lives. Just like the association of one bully type person can ruin everything. So he taught us to see the good in others, but he never taught us to be sentimental. He said keep good association and avoid bad association. He said serve devotees and then all their sukriti and bhakti will fall on your head. Gurudev called us his darling daughters and every father would want their daughter to be happy, to shine, to be safe and not exploited. Swami Maharaj said in an interview in the Science of Self-Realization, I want to spread this culture of Krishna consciousness in the West. And Narayan Maharaj also had the same desire. So according to one philosopher and theorist, I can't remember his name right now, he said there's cultural capital, there's financial capital and social capital. So cultural capital is access to knowledge and arts and financial capital is access to wealth and economic assets. Social capital is having access to good association for whatever skill it is you want. So Narayan Raj brought this cultural wealth of Mahaprabhu and chanting and bhajan and serving and dancing. So we should embrace it because we're most fortunate. We left gold, we left jewels and comforts because it was empty. It didn't make us happy. We were seeking love and affection of which the Vaishnavas have loads to share. Narayan Raj protected us like a parent. Um, to a child. So love is the really satisfying substance. Without lo that, life is just a hell of an abominable. Narayan Raj taught us not to exploit, but to love, to love children and be so kind and gentle with anyone less strength, strong than, and ha who has less power than ourselves. Younger devotees, beggars, people from all races and countries. He taught us about mercy. So mercy is the real character quality in a person that makes them distinguish from another person. A person may have so many qualities, be great in so many ways, but it's the mercy that really makes a person great. And this is one quality that Guru Dave really has. Guru Dave, the key. <laughs> looking through um, the letters that Srila Gurudev sent to me and um, I think at one point I said uh, I said to Srila Gurudev that I um, really would like to serve in a way and then um, I was trying to do book distribution at the market with just few books and stuff and I was really happy doing it and Srila Gurudev said I'm really become happy to, heard in, uh, to hear the news that you want to do book distribution. And uh, I really appreciate your mood to want to serve. That's what Tura Buddha said. And, but the main thing is, I want you to chant in your realm. That is the main point. You can serve, but you don't, if you can't do your chanting, that's it's also useless. That's what he said. And um, 
yeah, the mind point is the the one that helping you to liberate. You get the liberation is the chanting Hari. Yeah, good. Let us please. Yeah, only one, one minute. Hare Krishna. So I'm very unfortunate. I never got to make sure in Ryan Raj. I joined this con in 2003, and I was told I'm not allowed to go see the Ryan Raj. It was my condition to stay in the temple. So I think in about 2005 or six, I was in Mayapur, and Shilin Ryan Raj's followers came over and said, "Ah, oh, there's a pure devotee in Mayapur. Please come visit. Please come visit." You know. And I remember walking back into the Bajan here thinking to myself. I wonder if this con's right, you know, maybe they're just trying to convert me, you know. So I had like some offensive mentality by the association that I was keeping. I remember I was in Jagannath Puri for a parapram and I seen Yuga Acharya, Shulam Ramaj, and I was thinking, why Yuga Acharya? I don't know, but because of all offensive mentality had been brainwashed into me for many, many years. So then I decided, like, I stayed in this con for for quite a few years, Brahmacharya served my guru there. I was traveling with him one day and someone came up and said, one of your disciples just take initiation from the Ryan Raj. He said, he'll go to hell and he'll, he'll uh, never get a bona fide guru for 1,000 words. And I'm thinking like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so I kept serving him and traveling with him and uh, slowly my devotional service started waning. I met my Maharaj in an in airport and said, whose disciple are you? I mentioned I said, who the disciple I am? He said, you'll lose an offender. He said, he said, you'll lose your bhakti if you stay with him. And I went back to my guru, paid obeisance and prayed. I said, you know, I've heard some offense against you. I just want to protect my bhakti. Please, if I made any offense by hearing that guitar that one I shared. And I went on like that, but my bhakti dried up. And I left ISKCON, just went back to sing for activities. And uh, one day I was walking on the beach with a friend. And I was saying to him, I don't know why it came in my head, but I just said, Maybe if I met Shilin or Ayamaj, at least I could just chant four rounds and just be happy, you know? Like, <laughs> I said his name like that, because I heard that all of the Ayamaj disciples, I met a few, a few of them, and they used to not follow, you know, some of the regs so strictly and stuff, they look pretty happy. And I was like, <laughs> so I was like, okay, at least if I got an issue with the Ayamaj, maybe I would have just, you know, done something, you know? Because I was trying to be quite strict when I was in this time. But so, and then about two months after that, a friend calls me up out of the blue and says, how are you doing? And I said, oh yeah, I'm sitting here watching this TV series called Lost. <laughs> <laughs> At the very end, it's got a picture of Krishna. Because that's the, that's the whole, I watched this serial for months and months. And the last thing you see is a picture of Krishna in, in their old room. And I'm like, yo, that was really worth like a few months. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I told him what I was doing. And he just started, he just started like preaching to me. He's telling me about Sean Ryan Raj, he's telling me about the Gordian Knight, he's telling me all these personalities. Within like a week, he's got me chanting 64 rounds. And it's like, okay, I'll stop smoking, okay, I'll stop doing this, okay. And I'm just sitting there, and like, I honestly tell you, like, I was lusty as a dog, and my lust, my lust disappeared. No, it was actually like I was sitting there chanting, and it was like my lust just disappeared to a point where I hadn't experienced ever in my life. And I was thinking, like, you can tell, like Prabhupada said, you'll tell medicine by how it affects you, you know. And I just, like, okay, I started following it. A few Maharajs came, Siddhanti Maharaj came, Madhav Maharaj came, you know, the different devotees came. Then I went to India, I met some more of the different Maharajs, and I was just like, okay. So then I spoke to my, you know, old Shikshika of his kind, I explained to him what was going on, and he, I said to the particular devotee I was inspired with, he said, yeah, if you can convince him to join this one, you can follow him. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? So I didn't ever call him again. <laughs> so it went on like that. So basically, like, I mean, as, the, as far as I can see, like, I mean, they couldn't keep me Krishna conscious. They couldn't make me Krishna conscious. And uh, so I don't know if I, their paper, I've signed a bit of paper to say that I'm their disciple for eternity. But, uh, I mean, I'm getting my Krishna conscious from the Sangha and I'm just trying to follow. I'm, I'm meeting Srila Maharaj's followers. I'm trying to practice what he's teaching and I'm feeling like a change in my life. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to thank Srila Maharaj and I really need to pray for any offences that I've made to Vaishnavas. Like, I must have made some serious Vaishnava right in the previous 
lifetime to be like restricted in such a way to just yeah not not get to meet such a Vaishnava. And I I just really hope now that for the rest of my life, like if there's a genuine Vaishnava on the planet, I should have freedom to be able to also associate and see them and just be away from people who just want to criticize them unnecessarily. Well, just in few words, I want to say there are no words to describe the unlimited mercy of Srila Gurudev since he's coming from the transcendental world to this material world and going to different countries and going to such a small country as Costa Rica that is in the middle of nowhere and um, he's giving his mercy to everyone doesn't matter their qualification, their culture, their language, age, old, young, everyone and I met him when I was around 10 years old and um, I just will say this in a few words I was like wondering, oh, everyone is looking at him, I'm so happy, like everyone touches feet and they feel so joyful. I would like to do that, but I feel so shy, like I barely know him. And I just thought, okay, I will try to also touch his feet. Like everyone seems happy touching his feet, I will try as well. So after he's finished his class, going to his room, I'm um, waiting and I feel so shy, but would have looked up for me and he looked at me with such a love and affection when he touched my head and then I felt he knew my heart desire that I wanted to approach him and offer some um, respects and when he left that year in 1997 from Costa Rica I was just so grateful he was there and I wanted to offer him something but I didn't have anything so I picked up a little yellow flower from the street just in the grass and I offered it to him and he smiled at me and he accepted. So whatever we offer with sincerity he's accepting, he's so merciful and I am grateful that um, still he's protecting me and every one of us. He's bringing Always a uh, sadhu sangha for us and protecting our bhakti. Hare Krishna. Ladies and gentlemen, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavas, Vashri. Thank you very much for attending this um, hot self, especially to Maharaj for coming, giving inspiration, guiding all the devotees in their uh, push Panjali to Shri Lagrude. Of course, uh, some uh, costs are involved, especially with Maharaj's plane fare. So we're asking everyone to be generous and contribute something to cover the cost of Maharaj traveling. You can contribute directly to him tonight, tomorrow. And uh, we also have to remember, yeah, please be generous and not much. Kepler's cost is quite significant to fly from India to Australia. And uh, the other thing is, uh, this festival, Mama also will uh, appearance of our beloved Guru Deva, Sri Bhakti Vedanta Narayan, this one March, is coinciding with the uh, installation of the deities here, Shishi Rata Govinda Mahaprabhu Ji. And uh, we're very fortunate by Mercy Gurudev, who's bestowed the Seva of Radha Govindaji, also by Mercy of our Pujapad Madhav Maharaj and uh, Bhakti Vigyan Bhakti Vasa Maharaj and all our Sangha, Gaudiya Vaishnava Sangha under Gurudev's guidance. Maharaj Sri also, he encouraged us when the idea came up to get the deities, everyone was saying, oh no, you can't get deities, it's too hard, too difficult, we will do the Seva, you know. But Maharaj was the very first inspiring person to give his imprimatur, his go ahead and he uh, helped a lot. So that was uh, very great, his inspiration and also 
uh, Mother Rush made it possible for us for the deities to come. And we, we, uh, they're giving us so much chance to do seva, engaging us, so we're very benefiting incalculably, and I believe the whole country, the whole Tweed Valley, all the Jeevas here are experiencing the, the peace and the love of uh, Divine Gurudev and by their mercy, all coming from the inspiration and mercy of our Gurudev. So thank you, Shula Gurudev, for everything you've done for all of us. We hope we can uh, dedicate ourselves to satisfy you, at least in some way. Now the point is tomorrow, this uh, is the first anniversary of the deities installation, it's their birthday. So tomorrow we're going to be celebrating the birthday of the deities, Radha, Krishna, Mahaprabhu. We're going to have a big birthday cake for them, we're all going to all sing happy birthday for them. And uh, the other thing is, uh, the big important thing is uh, Maharaj has consented to perform Magnihotra Vaishnava on Saturday. We haven't worked out the time yet, but uh, probably Saturday's the day, and then he'll go to Brisbane. So, uh, so two things, you can uh, try and bring some presents for the deities tomorrow, it's their birthday festival. Mm -hmm. And also we can help anyone want to help prepare to make the fire yagya for auspiciousness, uh, Vishwa, uh, Purva Vishwa Shukra Yagya to bring auspiciousness to the world that we bring us to Maharaj's concern to help us do that. Alright, thank you very much everyone. Maharaj, what time tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, well normal time, Maharaj will speak in the morning about uh, 10 to 11. Yeah, and then uh, oh, we'll probably have Krishna's cake in the evening. So after uh, maybe after Arati, we can offer Krishna's birthday cake. And then the Saturday sometime we'll do the jagu. Tomorrow, tomorrow, celebrate Krishna's birthday. Huh? Krishna's birthday. Okay. 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 Shilgurdev ki Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare